And my mum used to say, did you go to school today? I said, yep. She said, come here. And she's smelling. I know, you've been in that damn distillery again. Bed, no dinner. Ancient, natural, old, pure. The blood of one small nation, absolutely. In the mid-1970s, Scotch whisky ceased to be fashionable when it became Dad's drink. Aye. Uh, there was just a massive bust. I've never once met anyone who goes, and there's no emotion behind it. If you do that, God, go and drink vodka. Even though I'm a scientist, it's actually much, much more of an art. Looking at your cladding, I said, someday I would love to make whiskey at this time. The place was falling apart. There was a sign. It sort of encompasses the whole whiskey industry at the time. Exclamation. And I can remember thinking, I've got to do something about it. I got a phone call from the chairman of Brooklady. I said, the answer is yes. He said, really? Very different people with different background and experience who all came together with the same goal of bringing this distillery back to life. The most unlikely partnership in the history of whiskey. It's, it's hysterical. Jim reveled in the freedom that he was given, sometimes a little too much. I could make virtually what I wanted. There's a Brook Laddie every week, wasn't there? There's probably too many. I said, why are you doing this? And he looked at me with his wild eyes and said, because we can, and because we're having fun. <laughs> there aren't as many true mavericks anymore. Learning quite literally from scratch. Mike and I had many battles. We detonated. Yeah, emotionally, it cost me a lot. But we did it. We touched the void. Oh, my God. How far can we go, you know?